What's going on, socialites? Ryan here, head coach, your Boston Braviaries, taking on the Pittsburgh Poltergeist this week. And as you can see up here, we have their team. It is a pretty standard rain team. Um, they got most of the offensive pieces in Kingdra and Kabutops. They didn't get Pelipper though, so they have Politoed as their main rain setter, Clefable um, as their bulk, also with kind of like Meganium and Licky Licky. And him on top can be pretty bulky too, although I expect him to be more offensive this week against us. And then Zapdos, just for like those thunders and everything. So pretty strong team. I said they were probably the best going out of it. But there is one thing when it comes to weather teams. Yes, they are powerful in a vacuum, but they are pretty predictable in what the actual core does. Like you figure Politoed, Kingdra, Kabutops are always coming. Clefable's kind of wild card. Clefable can do... 20 different things so we'll have to see what sort of clefable he's got going on but usually with weather teams you can at least predict most of what's going to happen and so you got to use that knowledge to game plan around it. so we got a pretty interesting team we're going to hop into the battle and I'll explain more as the battle and the team kind of unfolds but yeah let's hop right into it wish me luck all right, socialize. So we are here again in the battle with Anthony. Now, Anthony didn't battle last week. He got a forfeit win. So this is his first match of the season. And here's the team. So <laughs> pretty unconventional here. Uh, and over there, you see what I expect him to bring. We'll see what exactly it is. But basically, one of the key things to slowing his team down is to slow them down. So getting paralysis will be really important. So we got Thunder Wave on Cold Pokemon. Let's see what he brought here. Okay, so he didn't bring Zapdos. I was wondering because he was still looking for a Zapdos. So he brings Meganium. Now, that's not bad at all. Like, I think I would rather see that because it's one less thing that can really hit our uh, Empoleon. And Empoleon's going to be so key here. So against that... I think we're okay. Just lean off with Electivire here. And again, I'm going to try and Thunder Wave some stuff early. Thunder Wave, maybe Volt Switch around. He has no ground, no electric immunity. So he goes right into Meganium. Which is fine with me. Um, he could be a physical set with like Earthquake. That would be interesting, but I'm expecting screens here. So we're going to taunt him. Yep. Just as I thought. The screen. So now we're going to Thunder Wave here. He does switch out. So hopefully we get a Thunder Wave on something really nice here. He goes into him on top. This would be great to get a Thunder Wave off on. We do connect the Thunder Wave. That is huge. Again, th this is definitely the, the strategy here, right? So now we can Volt Switch. I don't know what he would want to go for here. Um, we do have Meganium that can just come in and hit a really strong Hex now that the Paralysis is up. He switches out, though. Okay, so he's trying to pivot around here. Goes into Clefable. So this is actually really good. Because this lets us bring in... Bring in... Mawile. And we can get a pretty free Iron Head up here. Or we could try to get Rocks up. This is the question here. Do we want to go for Iron Head or do we want to go for Rocks? I'm going to go for Iron Head. He might try and stay in. I ev this specifically to outspeed Clefable. <laughs> and we get rid of his best wall here. 
huge, huge stuff. And th th this is what I'm talking about, right? His his team is powerful, but you can predict. Okay, so he goes into Meganium here. He's gonna try and get these screens back up again, which will be very annoying. I was a little bit worried about this. I think I'm gonna use this opportunity though to get stealth rocks up. These screens are gonna be super annoying. I'm gonna try to chip chip this guy down. I mean I'm not gonna give him a free switch in basically. Like something's gonna take damage here. As as he avoids it, but something is gonna take damage. Like, I don't know what Meganium can have if it's got two attacks, probably like Giga Drain. He does switch out Meganium again. Probably going into Politoed here, yep. So if we connect here, Politoed should take about 25% or so. I mean, to be honest, Mawile has really done its job by taking out... ...the Fable, so I'm fine with them Scalding. No burn. We're just gonna get Politoed pretty low. Again, uh, Ma Wild did his job, and we're just stalling out more screen turns here. So now we can go pretty safely into... Probably Miss Magius is the play. Or we could go back into Electivire and just Volt Switch. Like, now that his Politoed is so low, we could also Thunder Wave here. I don't hate Thunder Wave either, just because it will get something that wants to come in. Because he should probably, yeah, he should conserve his Politoed. Oh, a Thunder Wave on Kingdra will be really big. That's awesome. So we should outspeed the Kingdra even in the rain. Thanks to that paralysis. I'm just gonna double check that to be sure. If it is timid, if it's timid, it'll still outspeed us. Which is a bit of a problem. Um, okay, it is modest though. Modest confirmed. And we get a free switch in to Empoleon here. There's really nothing that Kingdra can have that'll ever break through Empoleon. Also, getting these rocks up is so great. Yeah, Draco's gonna tickle us. So, if I were him, I mean, a switch out into him on top is very likely. The screens are still up. Man, I, I wish this was like Sword and Shield where, where you could check this stuff a little bit easier. We can get some more recovery on Empoleon though. He 
he does switch out. I'm assuming into him on top. Yep. He might try to spin here. I gotta have a counter for how many turns these, these screens have been up. Okay, the reflect wore off, so that means the light screen's gonna wear off next turn. So, Miss Magia seems really free here. Uh, block his spin, block his close combat. Like, I think the only move he could have would be Stone Edge to try and hit us. Yep, we block his spin, that's huge. The light screen wore off. I feel like he'll, he'll want to switch out here. Oh no, he went for Sucker Punch. Hmm. I don't know what he's trying to go for here. Now he's thinking about it. He doesn't go for the Sucker Punch this time, so we're going to get some nice damage off with the Hex. <laughs> oh boy. Is, isn't this grand? Alright, so that's three Sucker Punches. He switches out. Let's see what he goes into. Back in him again. He's going to try and get the screens back up again. That Hex did some nice damage. And it's paralyzed. This is great. And this is what the team wanted to do. So we take down the game. No more screens. That means our damage calcs are back on point. And I don't have to worry about trying to count screen turns. I'm actually going to pull up a calculator just to have a... Uh... Alright, so he's going back into Politoed, get his drizzle back up. What do you want to go into here? Kind of Kingdra. Kingdra's paralyzed. You're you're not gonna outspeed me. This is where we just really start breaking it open here. Because he's not going to outspeed us in the rain. We already know that. So the plan worked. We didn't miss any of our Thunder Waves. He now knows that our Mawile is faster than Clefable. So, I mean, game two is going to be a little bit different, right? He's going to play around that a little bit more.
He goes for the knockoff. But we have Lay Focus Sash. He has Life Orb on the Kaboot Tops. That's good to know. Probably Specs then on the uh, Kingdra. That did look like Specs damage to me. From the Empoleon. So Rocks are going to knock out Politoed. So the... Uh, Mawile actually gets two KOs, and he's already used three Sucker Punches, and based on his play, that means that he doesn't have any other way to knock us out. We could even Destiny Bond, just to be sure, but hey, I'm, I'm in it for the points. So that's... Four Sucker Punches. Oh, he did... Like, don't quit it, dude. Okay, so... Miss Magius would have gotten that kill, and then Polito dies to Mawile Rocks. So that that's how we're gonna score that one. But, you know, I, I hate when, you know, it's not like we were getting a timer there. I saw that one more Sucker Punch. I probably test just to make sure, but, you know, that's all. So I'm going to pause it here, and then we'll be back for game two. But a very convincing win, as always, against Anthony. We always have his number. All right, so we're back for game two. Um, again, I'm going to give Miss Magius that kill against him on top, and then Polito would die to rocks it by Mawile. All right, so back to it. This time we'll lead off with Miss Magius. Again, we know his hip on top can't do anything to us. Yeah, so he, he starts with him on top. Again, he can't do anything to us. We just Thunder Wave spam for for days here. Goes into Clefable. If we get a full para, that's huge. Okay, he gets up his own rocks, which is fine. We have so many ways to get, uh... Empoleon in. He should switch out. Yep. Like a book. Let's get a nice... Paralysis on this Meganium here. Just getting some nice clean damage off on all these Pokemon. Nice damage there. Does get a light screen up, but that's okay. Ooh, and we get a crit. So he's not going to get that reflect up. Very nice. Um, I actually wouldn't have minded because, again, I don't mind stalling out more of his turns. So that was one turn of reflect. Not sure what he's expecting to do here. Oh, yeah, because the light screen's up. Oh, he's going for Calm Mind here. Um, again, we always have Mawile.
So combine rocks, like you gotta assume Moonblast, right? <clears throat> it's great too that we have uh Miss Maggie is still really healthy. Play rough as long as it connects is an easy KO. He switches out. But Sun's gonna take big damage on this. Polytoad's gonna come in. That could still take about half. Because he doesn't have his reflect up. We miss it, which is very unfortunate. Alright, so he does have. That's very unfortunate, <clears throat> missing that. I feel like, listen, Play Rough is a 95% move. Even in my testing, I feel like I missed it, like, half the time. As long as we don't get a burn. All right. So now we can defog here. You go him on top, but we always have Miss Magius against the him on top, and then it's just more Thunder Wave spamming. Oh, I haven't been paying attention to the screens. Okay, so one turn, he died. Two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns. So there should only be like a turn or two left. He goes into Cofable. I mean, I. Yeah, Light Screen just went away. Now, Empoleon should get the KO here. If he wants to stay in, which he does. And this should pick up the KO here on Clefable. Yep. So again, we're, we're taking down all of his bulk here. It's so nice to know that Hitmontop has literally nothing to touch Miss Magius. Like, it's so nice, because Hitmontop was one of the ones I was worried about. Yeah, so he goes into Hitmontop. Again, not at all worried. You always have Miss Magius. Miss Magius, now with the Defog, the Sash is still intact, so even if he tries to, like, double out into Kabutops here... Yep. Oh, into Kingdra. Okay, so... I mean, what? We just... Thunder Wave it? Go down to Sash and then Destiny Bond? We could also go right back out into... Um... Empoleon, like, doesn't really do anything, but I think that Thunder Waving this is fine. But then that really opens up a uh, Hitmon top, which I don't like. So we're gonna go right back out into Empoleon here. Empoleon just walls anything that Kingdra wants to do. Okay, now I'm gonna make the double into a bomb of snow. We we gotta get a bomb of snow in here. Um, he could make the double into Hitmon top, but then then we just double back into Miss Magius. So he he actually stays in. Connects on the Hydro Pump. Which is not a two-hit KO, so that's great to know. <clears throat> we could actually Aurora Veil here. That'd be funny.
switches out, probably back into Hitmontop. Yep. But again, you, you go Hitmontop, guess, guess what I'm gonna go. Like, this game ain't hard. Ooh, that was almost... Oh, it was a crit. I was gonna say, that was almost a two-hit KO. <laughs> what is that damage? All right, we always got Miss Magius. Never worried. Okay, into the Politoed would be best here. Yep. So you know what that means. It means it's a free Thunder Wave for Miss Magius. Man, we do not miss Thunder Waves. We miss Play Roughs. We'll miss the 95% Play Rough all day, but we will not miss that 85%. That's fine. Because you you know what I always have here, right? I always just have the freest of Empoleons. Oh, they do get the burn, which does kind of stink, but again, we're, we're just chip, chip, chipping. Back down to Kingdra. Get some nice damage there. Like what what does Kingdra have that I would want to do against us? <clears throat> With the burn, I'm fine letting, uh, you know, Empoleon go down. Oh, and we, we actually dodged that one. <laughs> And pick up the KO. So, <laughs> whoops. Whoops. Let's see now. So he goes into Kabutops. <clears throat> goes into Kabutops. Oh uh, yeah, Empoleon, you did your job. You did well, young Empoleon. Rest now. Rest now as Scarf Obama Snow cleans up this game. Like he has to sacrifice one of these, then go into him on top, we go into Miss Magius, and yada yada bada bing bada boom. Goes into hit on top. Which I don't even think hit on top. Eh, it probably does survive. Listen, I'm I'm in it for the points. 
This is a similar scenario to the end of last game, so. He goes out into Politoed. against Politoed. Um, Thunder's just a two-hit KO, so there's no reason not to do that. Takes out Politoed. just win here. I don't care if he tries to predict and go close combat. Oh, Earthquake. Same difference. And Obama Snow. What weather's better here? Rain? Nah. It's the hail that wins, baby. The hail that wins. So, as usual, a very convincing 2-0 crushing of the Pittsburgh Poltegeist. Thanks, always, for watching. For more awesome strategies on how to beat Anthony, make sure you follow Global Pokemon Society. And as always, stay classy, society.